I have two solutions for you using IKEA furniture and East <laughs> East <laughs> Each <laughs> Eat oh. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexandra, and today is episode four of my rental reno series. We are tackling my teeny tiny, almost non-existent entryway. If you're new here, I recently moved on to the top floor of an old Victorian house with my two cats, Harriet and Marty, and my partner, Andrew. Follow me in this series where I transform this entire apartment room to room, giving you on budget and renter friendly solutions. You're watching my rental reno. This video has been requested a few times and I know you guys at home struggle with creating an entryway when there is no designated space to do so. So I am here to help. So I have two solutions for you using IKEA furniture. Each piece of furniture I use is under $150. It's up to you guys at home, depending on what your budget is, how much you spend on actually styling each solution. So here's what we're working with. We have this landing right outside the front door and this large brick wall right when you walk in, which is connected to the living room. I'm going to start on the landing. So this is where I'm thinking of storing all of our shoes. I kind of want them out of the apartment. So I think that this little landing is perfect. I found this really great size appropriate piece of furniture to put all of our shoes. I love how it has a really slim profile, but opens up to hold so many shoes. Seriously guys, take a look at this pile that I started with. All of those shoes are now in this unit. I wasn't really crazy about the knobs that it came with, so I pulled out one of my favorite solutions, which is changing the knobs with these really inexpensive ones from Amazon. Now this piece of furniture is super chic and totally custom. I'm placing a cute plant on top to jazz it up a bit, and that is the landing done. Now, jackets. This is a question I actually get a lot. Where do I store my jackets, especially when I don't have a designated entryway to do so? And my number one tip is use the back of your doors. I found this really great hook that just goes over the door. It's copper, super cute. I can close the door with ease. And this is where we're going to hang all of the jackets that we're currently wearing. Now other seasonal jackets just go right into my closet and this is just a really great way to keep things organized. So there's not like a million coats at the front door. The ones that we're not wearing are in the closet. I think this is a really great solution for anything. This is a really great product to use to house all of those things that don't normally have a home. Okay, next up is this brick wall that is honestly one of my fave parts of this entire apartment. Now I think every entryway needs a mirror for two reasons. One, obviously, to check yourself out before you leave for the day. And two, it just opens up your space so much because the light bounces off of it and makes uh, your entryway feel a bit brighter because entryways tend to be really dark. I'm hanging this gorgeous Ikea mirror. Thankfully, there was actually a nail already in the brick from, I guess, the previous tenants. So we just used some really heavy wire on the back of the mirror and then hung it up that way. So next up is a bench. And I actually have two different benches to show you guys. I think benches are really essential in an entryway because they solve multiple problems at once. I thought long and hard about which bench I was gonna bring into this space. I literally have three different benches right now in my apartment that I've like switched out and lived with for a few weeks. And I'm gonna show you the two best solutions. So the first one is this Ikea Calyx bookshelf. So usually people use this as a bookshelf, but if you flip it over, super genius hack, it actually becomes a bench. So flip it over and you've got an instant entryway bench with tons of storage. You can style this any way you want. You can find some cushions that you have, maybe on your couch that you wanna change up. Now, I actually found a company that's based in Toronto that actually makes a custom foam cushion for the top of your Calyx unit. I've linked them down below. They're a little pricey, but I think that they really elevate this bench and make it look not so like Ikea-ish, if you know what I mean. And then I'm just placing a few cushions on top in different colors and patterns. I love the mixed match look. It looks very boho to me. And there we have like this comfy, cozy little entryway bench that's perfect for putting on your shoes before you leave. I was gonna say before you leave the door. Before you leave for the day. 
Next up is baskets. And baskets, I would say, are like the most important part of any entryway. They do a really great job of hiding things like bike helmets, mitts, you know, winter accessories, all of those things that just never seem to have a home and that you don't want to keep out on display. A basket kind of corrals all these things and makes it look super decorative in the process. So you can have like tons of clutter in them and just no one would know. Though refrain from the clutter, people. Keep it organized. So now we're adding a cute little plant and some pictures and there is look number one. I think this is so great because it looks inviting and warm. It looks like it's supposed to be a part of my living room, but it also has ample storage for all of those entryway bits and pieces that are necessary. So another option is to use an open bench. And I think that these are really great for a small confined space. They tend to look more airy. I definitely love this option for this space. This bench kind of blends into the brick wall and it just helps keep the rest of this living room really open. So a bench is great because it's a place for guests to throw their coats on when they walk in the door. And it also acts as extra seating. So we can bring this bench into our living room when we have people over or on the deck even in the summer. So I think that this is Definitely a keeper for this space. I like how it's so multifunctional. I'm painting the legs with a dusty kind of pink color. Um, this is chalk paint. I love using chalk paint on Ikea furniture because chalk paint adheres to almost everything, especially um, untreated wood. This was really simple to do. I just used some painter's tape. I measured each leg where I wanted to put the painter's tape so it's all even. And guys, how satisfying is it to watch someone peel painter's tape off of furniture, like that crisp line is just so good. Again, I'm propping some baskets underneath. You can see I'm putting my helmets in here. Like baskets are so great. Of course, I found these cute pom-pom ones. They're linked down below if you guys wanna get some of your own. If you guys are looking for a more budget-friendly option, you can totally just DIY these yourself. Ikea sells these cute, I'm gonna insert a photo here, um, seagrass belly baskets. I think they're like seven to $9. Literally just like hot glue gun on pom-poms that you can find at the craft store and you are saving tons of money and they look really cute. And you can be like, yeah, I made those. I made those baskets. Let me know the baskets, but I made them look cute. I made those baskets look so cute. Now I'm just throwing a sheepskin over the bench and a cushion just to make it look a little more cozy. You can just add stuff that you already have in your house to make it look really pretty. Next up, it's time to add an entryway mat. Now I am showing you two versions, one high, one low. Now the low option, super easy. Go to Ikea, get a $7 doormat. Easiest thing, link down below. And then just use painter's tape to create little shapes. I've gone for triangles. We went outside on the deck, spray painted in the painter's tape and you have like an instant custom doormat that looks super cute. I used pink spray paint and black spray paint. You guys can use any colors you like. And I also added um, a few extra triangles. Once I took all the tape off, I was like, okay, need a few more triangles. You could also go to the craft store and get stencils. You could do like typography. You could do like, I don't know, an animal. <laughs> Whatever you want, just have fun with it. A cat, right? Yeah, so have fun with it guys. If you end up doing um, a DIY from one of my videos, follow me on Instagram and tag me. Tag me in your photos. I love seeing all of your photos of things you recreate after watching my videos. It makes me so happy. My Instagram is linked down below, but it is at Alexandra Gator. For my higher budget option, I debated including this because these mats are, are really pricey, but I think that they're so cool. And if you're okay with spending a bit more money, this is definitely the one I would go with. So this is a vinyl mat and it actually looks like tile. These work best when you have um, kind of an enclosed entryway, so a wall on either side, because if it fits, it looks like you've laid down tile, but you haven't, it's a vinyl mat. These are anti-slip, so they stay in place. And I just think this is such a quick and easy way to update an ugly floor in an entryway. Um, they're really easy to clean because they're vinyl, they're super durable. If you live in Canada, you know that this is super important. Again, a little bit pricier, but I think worth the splurge. I picked this pattern um, after seeing this in With Wendy's Space when I went to her condo a few weeks ago. I love how it gives that kind of like restaurant bistro vibe. And because my living room and my entryway are kind of all one space. Even the entryway mat has to look beautiful. And now for the finishing touch, my trusty fiddly fig tree, which I have actually kept alive for a few months. Yesterday, you would never know it, but this looked like it was gonna die. Like it was drooping, it looked so sad. 
and I gave it some water and now it's like, yay, so happy. I think a fiddly fig in any entryway just looks so beautiful. They love lots of light, so if your entryway sees a lot of light, I would definitely recommend one of these. I got mine from Sheridan Nurseries. I will link that down below. It's a great nursery if you live in the GTA. And there you have it, guys. I'm so happy with how these two entryways turned out because they're both really decorative but also really functional, which is really what you want in any entryway. I would love to know if any of these tips helped you guys solve your entryway problems. And let me know if you have an entryway issue that I haven't covered in the comments down below. As always, make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any more episodes coming for the My Rental Reno series. Next, I am tackling my bathroom and my bedroom. The bathroom is such a highly requested space, so I'm really excited for this one. And now, if you guys have stuck around this long, well done, you will be rewarded with my cats wearing mini party hats because why not? I love cats, I think you guys love cats, especially when they're in little party hats. Give it a thumbs up for Harriet and Marty wearing party hats, like Harriet in a pink party hat, I can not. Okay, I'll see you guys next Friday. See you next time.